Hey, what's going on guys? Oscar Mini here. And there's been this thing with smartphone manufacturers where they kind of regurgitate old smartphones with new names and little changes. And that actually does bother me. But before you all get me toasted in the comment section below because of the title of this video, do hear me out. And without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. So before we get into the meat of this video, here's a premise. I got the Huawei Y9 Prime about 5 months ago and I had a video on that smartphone on this channel, link in the description or somewhere around here. Now in that video, I'd made mention that this phone was great value for the money at the point it was released and the only thing I really disliked about the smartphone was the display. But despite that, I recommended it to a lot of people. So one of those persons I recommended, the Huawei Y9 Prime 2, reached out about 4 days ago and asked if he should upgrade his smartphone from the Y9 Prime to the Y9s. And I thought that wasn't necessary and that gets me to the first point. So if you already own the Y9 Prime, you don't necessarily need to upgrade to the Y9s. In fact, you don't have to because these phones are basically the same thing and the Y9s is a Y9 Prime with 6 gigs of RAM, a side-mounted fingerprint sensor and a bigger camera and that's all. I still have the Y9 Prime here and I don't think it really does make sense to get the Y9s alongside this device. I mean, they are copies of the same smartphone. Now my second point would be the high silicon Kirin 710F processor on the smartphones. For a successor, you'd expect a better processor on the device, but that isn't the case here as this device is shared same processor. And I think that should be as a result of the US sanction on Huawei. I mean, I don't think they'll be able to run Google services on the 810 processor if it had come with the Y9s. Those are just my thoughts. Do let me know in the comments section below if I might be wrong about that. The third reason I think you shouldn't get the Y9s would be the display. Just like I mentioned in the review of the Y9 Prime, I really didn't like that display as it didn't have that oomph or punch as I expected. I mean, I love AMOLED displays and the Y9 Prime has the same display as the Y9s. So that's a deal breaker for me. And for that same price point, you can get other devices with AMOLED displays. I mean, so why go for something with an LCD panel? And that brings me to the fourth point, which is there are better devices at that price point. Take for instance, the Samsung Galaxy A50s. This is a smartphone that has a better display, better camera, can shoot videos up to 4K and has an in-display fingerprint sensor, which is the trendy thing right now. So why would I go for something that has an older tech while I can get something with newer tech at the same price point? I hope you guys just get this whole thing. So these are just the reasons I think one shouldn't get the Y9s. But if you must use a Huawei device with a massive display, 4000 milliamp hour batteries, a pop-up camera and all that, and you really want to use the Huawei Y9 series, I wouldn't recommend getting the Y9s when you already have the Y9 Prime. But if you don't have the Y9 Prime, then by all means go for the Y9s. So that's been it for this video. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you have questions for me, do follow me on Instagram and Twitter at OscarFrankie. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that already. Other than that, it's goodbye. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Kuidate.